It's Brittany Bish, and I'm back. <laughs> and we just watched. <laughs> we just watched Waterworks. Sorry, we didn't just watch it. We watched it when it came out, but we're finally. But we're finally doing it because, you know, I said two weeks ago we went camping, but we just went camping again, and this is the first night we have free to actually make the video. Yes. Um, and yeah, so Waterworks, Better Call Saul, second to last episode of the series. Just as always, start with no spoilers, initial reactions. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Um, loved it. Got a lot from the episode. Yep. So I don't know, I felt satisfied, I felt like... I guess my reaction was like, I want to watch the next one right away. And what is going to happen? Yes. And that was a good episode. And Saul makes me so mad. Or Jimmy or Gene. Those are my reactions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like we're in this, you know, in the, the home stretch of the show. Yeah. And so I feel like every initial reaction has been the same. Other than Nippy, which was, give me the next episode. I want to see um, tantalizing stuff. Right. You know, if this was a different time of the show that we're doing this, you know, it might be a little different. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it was all together I can't, very well made. I can't believe it's the second to last one. Yeah. Like, the next one, everything wraps up. Mm -hmm. And I'm very stressed. Yeah. I feel like for my initial reaction, it was, wow. Great episode, but also, like, this is what I've been waiting for in the show. Because mm -hmm. as I said many times before, I am first a Breaking Bad fan. So, like, going into the show, my initial reaction into going to it was, I want to see Breaking Bad Jimmy, right? Yeah. But as the show has progressed, you know, as I've watched it since, very, since day one, you know, obviously those desires are slowly weaned off and you start caring more of the show. Uh, as you know, I am a Breaking Bad super fan, so maybe most people weren't that way, where all they wanted was the end, in the beginning, which is what I wanted. Um, but you know, obviously you start caring throughout. But this episode is kind of like, after the first season or so, this is what I've wanted to watch. I like wanted to see the um, post Better Call Saul, um, Jimmy and Kim, and see what they've been waiting, you know, what we have wanted to see for this climax. Yes. And this episode is what we, is we get to see that. Right. Do you get, like, did this episode give you the same feeling as, like, watching Breaking Bad? No. Like, those episodes? No. Really? Um, actually... I feel like it gave a lot, like, there was so much going on. I think I like, agree. The conflict. Bit, actually. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Hmm. I just feel like it gave a lot. Like, there's different storylines. Or two, I guess, huh? Maybe I should have thought about that. But, I don't know. I just feel like, it's because it's like progressing the storyline more and more. It's like gonna give a wrap up to everything. So it's giving us a lot. But I feel like we always got a lot from Breaking Bad. Yes. No matter where we were at. In yes. the season. I agree. That That is one thing that, yeah. I feel like the ending of the episode was very Breaking Bad-ish. Um, I mean, I don't really want to talk about this because, you know, this is Better Call Saul. It's not Breaking Bad. You know? Yeah. I'm trying to get away from that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess, like, immediately coming off it, I didn't feel like I watched a Breaking Bad episode. Just because every episode of this show feels like its own show. Which, kudos to them for being oh, able yes. to create something different, a different vibe. Which I even felt like El Camino was a different vibe. Which isn't as big of a thing because even if I make a movie, it always feels different than the show. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it uh, yeah, this show has always had its own flavor. I feel like if you didn't know anything about Breaking Bad and you just started watching it, you'd have a great time. And you would, and like not knowing that Saul was going to be Saul... You know, like that's where he, or I guess even to Gene, like you would enjoy the show so much. I feel like it wouldn't be like lame. 
you know, because we're watching it because, like, oh, Breaking Bad, and now we're going to learn about Saul Goodman. Yeah. But watching it not knowing anything, I think you'd enjoy it, like, a lot. There wouldn't be that push to... Yeah. Or that love for Breaking Well, the Bad. problem with Better Call Saul at times with me is I feel like they lean too much on Easter eggs to keep the excitement at times. For example, like, that's this is why this eternal battle in my head has always gone on with the show is I don't know if I would tell someone to watch this first. I wouldn't. You really? You're that confident in that? I would not tell someone to watch this first. No. Over Breaking Bad? Really? Why? Because, um... Is it what I'm about to say? The little Easter eggs that don't I matter? I just feel like there's too many scenes where they put in Easter eggs to make you excited from Breaking Bad. When that doesn't, I mean, I like it, but I kind of want it to just stay on its own. You know, I feel like they do it too many times. I get that, yeah. Yeah. Or, True. yeah. Like, you know, they brought up Combo in Jesse's conversation, right? Yeah. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't progress anything in the show. It was just a way to connect the two worlds, right? Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad, every single thing they did was to progress their world. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have to please anything. With the show, they added that whole dialogue with Jesse about Combo. That was not... <laughs> we are spoiling a little bit here. Sorry. That's not... But they, just, they bring up Combo. Yeah. And, you know... And then they also have, like, the alcohol bottle top. There's a lot of things. But those are the only two that are coming to my mind. Right. Um... And it's just like, I no, I enjoy it. It just makes me feel like it's a um, sideshow, you know. Definitely, but it's still good. That's why I feel like if someone had didn't really know about Breaking Bad, I feel like that'd be cool going into it. That's what I was saying. Oh, would okay. you tell someone to watch Better Call Saul before they watch Breaking Bad? Well, no, okay. because I feel like you can watch Breaking Bad, fall in love with the whole. You know, everything that goes down in Albuquerque, you know. And then learn about Saul and, and like, be interested in the spinoff show about his past. You would, like, be hooked to be like, oh my gosh, that guy, you know. Because Saul's hilarious. And he's, like, such a dirty lawyer. Like, I feel like anyone would be like, oh yeah, I'd be interested in watching it, right? I just, I just want to know, I want someone to experience it that way. And I want to know their thoughts. Because yes. it would make me sad that they would watch Breaking Bad. I feel like they would watch it waiting to see Saul. No? Oh. I could see that. And that would break my heart. But. That, you know, that's what you're excited about. I could see that. But, like, Breaking Bad is so good that, like, you would fall in love yeah. with the other characters. You'd be I'm so saying, invested in I'm just Jesse saying, Malt. Yeah, I'm just saying it'd be a possibility that I would not like. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to be there, you know, like, oh, when's Saul going to come up? Yeah, yeah. Saul. totally. No, just experience Walt and Jesse. So, okay. So with that out of the way, let's get into our scores. So, again, no... Oh, before we get into it, um, I want to try something a little different. As our Midnight Star is kind of our critical score, um, I was thinking that we'd just do an entertainment score out of 100, and then a description to kind of give you the audience... An understanding of it before you go into it. Um, it is a little bit harder with episodes as you know you've watched the last ones and there's not as much. To, but with movies, I feel like the description would be very helpful. Um, and just so people know, our critical score and our entertainment score they were made to um, for what we were doing before, which we might go back to. But they were purposely made for mainly comedies or movies that. Might, might not have been as great critical wise, but we enjoyed the movie. Like, you know, there's a lot of them out there, um, but for but I wanted to try it this way for now. So we'll see how it goes. But we'll bring up the we'll bring up the score card. So we're not giving this any stars, which we'll we'll give the stars for the season next episode, and then we gave this a 94. We have it slightly above the last episode. Mm -hmm. Um. Very good for what it is. Um, really no complaints. Great stuff. Great at acting. I feel like this episode had a little bit better acting than most. And then like your average Better Call Saul episode has. This one was just a little tad above. And, you know, obviously writing was superb. Everything flowed. And 
Yeah. Directing all mm-hmm. the the montage scene in the beginning was great. So then I, we get to the oh sorry what I was gonna say with the acting being really good, I feel like it's because the episode gave moments where the actors could have been like not so great with it or like be amazing with it and they were just great with it like they okay. took it you yeah. know what I mean I can see that and then for the description this was a much watch for all Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul fans bringing to light new truths and setting up a thrilling season for the series finale now the only thing I would add to that is this episode in itself was thrilling while also setting up a thrilling finale which is great yes but, yeah, very good episode. I'm not going to give it... We're not giving it 97, 98, as that's kept for the special of the special. The most <laughs> exhilarating, on top of dramatic, on top of everything. But, yeah, great episode. Oh, yes. So let's spoil this. Okay. Get into it. So it opens with Saul in his office, bouncing a ball, and... Francesca being like, what are you waiting for? You have a lot of people out That's here. That's how it starts? Yes, but it doesn't get into... Oh, yes, yes. Because then you see the divorce papers. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's how it ends. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was the Kim Wexler... I mean, the Kim scene. Right. Not yeah. yet. Yeah, not yet. Isn't that, too, that's when um, he's bouncing the ball and then the cathedral yeah. thing, like, falls over. <laughs> yeah. Showing how cheap his office is. Like, he's just a... What's the word? <laughs> it's supposed to look... He looks luxurious, but inside... Yeah. It's, cheap, it's cheaply made. Yeah. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And then... After the opening, we see Kim in the future. Black and white. And it's just going about her life, her new life in Florida, and how boring it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, that's ex- what they show to us. Yeah, it's just a montage of her just life, her boring. boyfriend... Which I was scared was her husband, right? You too? Yeah. I was like, oh, freak, it's her husband. No. But after seeing this whole episode, I don't... I mean, even before, I did not care if they ended up together. Or no, no. Especially no. this after watching this episode, I don't care. That's what I mean. Oh, yeah. In the beginning, I cared. Yes, before everything else. But anyways. This was because this was before we knew Saul's true character. Emotionally. Right. Yeah. Oh, they, so they did annoying. very well at hiding him. Uh, not knowing what he was behind the mask. Yeah. And but now we know what's behind the mask, which breaks my heart. It is so disappointing. Because I thought that he it was just a facade, and inside he cared. I know. I think he still cares. Well, sorry, yeah. Deep down, but it's like blocked, blocked, Obviously block, he cares, up. yeah, but it's just, yeah. But it's still annoying, like, come on, man. Oh, it makes me so mad. And so okay, so there's a the scene like where the boyfriend comes up back with like the miracle whip instead of the mayo because they're out of mayo, and then they <laughs> had that. It was so awkward. Like, you think this is gonna work? And she's just looking at. It, she's like, Yeah, I think so. I'm like, what is going on? But I saw someone's opinion on this, and like later on, there's some other thing that she has to make a decision on, like, or getting an opinion on, like, what kind of ice cream they should get: strawberry, vanilla. Yeah, I remember that. And she's just super indecisive, and that's not not that's not Kim in her lawyer times. She's super like she knows exactly what she wants, and she's very um, sure of like her decisions and stuff. But someone was saying like, well, the decisions that she was so sure about led to Howard's death. At least that's probably what goes on in her mind, you know. Like, mm. I didn't, you know, like I made all these decisions and I didn't question it, and because of it, Howard's dead. Interesting. We made him look crazy and tainted his reputation. So she's unsure. I so guess I did not just, take it that way. I took it as... I didn't either. My life is boring. Um, I mean, I think that's part of it. But that part where you just see her being indecisive, people are like... Someone was saying, like, I think it's because she's just kind of like, I'm not going to make these big decisions. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Yeah. I do feel like that's a little bit too... too um, that's looking too deep. Don't you think? No. You think she should become indecisive about ice cream and Miracle Whip? I can see it. There was something so... Tra- she just went through the most traumatic thing. And I would definitely be blaming myself for Howard's death if that was, like, me. Yeah. What was I going to say? So you would probably take Not it to the extreme. boring, but it was, like... 
Hmm. Oh, she's she's living in the boring. That's what it was. Like she's just accepting it and liking it. Because I know. it's opposite. That's what I was feeling. Well, yeah. Because the whole scene was, I am enjoying, or not that I took that at first. My first thought was they're trying to make it seem like her life is so boring that she's gonna go back to Saul. But that was not the case. That's what my initial reaction really? was. Right? I don't know. I was just kind of taking it in. You, I wasn't, okay. I took it. I wasn't the whole thinking. time I was like, she is going to go back to Saul. But then they bombshelled us by making Saul a complete dick. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, yeah, I thought it was like, I am living and musking in the boring. And she just couldn't And I'm take accepting it. it because yeah. I don't want to be a Saul because what, what led that way was bad. So now I'm going to live in the boring. And I'm accepting it, and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. And there's no way but, she can. Oh, my gosh. Like, there's that other scene where they go to the friend's um, party, and then all the ladies are, like, around the table looking at the food. Oh, my gosh, wow, that looks so great. And she's like, you did so good with the eggs. And I'm like, there's no way yeah. she is having fun. I love that that scene was black and white because it made me want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> It per- the, the colors, the scene, the w- everything that was being said, kill me if that was my life. You know what I'm saying? Don't jinx us. No, oh I can gosh, appreciate. I can appreciate people's good foods, but I'm like, there's no way that that would be just super. Anyways, lame. Okay, we cut to. Well, hold on. You can't go past the funniest part of the episode. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that happens later. No? You talking about? No. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. think that's the funniest part. I okay, that, you go for well, it. Well, the crash is funny, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say all things, all parts of her life seem a little boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can go on. You want me to go on? Or is that all you want to enough. say about that part? All you right. said enough. <laughs> um, we get to hear the phone call between her and Jimmy, or her and Jean... When he's in the phone booth. That's what it's called, right? And you take it away. Well, okay. This is what it is. Um, he's, like, just saying, like, hey, I'm just letting you know that I'm alive and I'm all good. But she's obviously shocked. And she's like, you shouldn't be talking to me and all this. I totally, like, this is the vibe, too, that she was, like, glad to hear, but she did not want to hear from him, right? Is that what you would feel, too? Like, yeah. she's, there's it a was, little part of oh, her yeah. that's relieved. Yes. But she's like, I don't want you talking to me. Mm. It's like, you want it, but you don't. Yeah. Well, obviously, she doesn't. He's a criminal. She doesn't want to go to jail. Yeah. Well, she told him, she told him, you should turn yourself in. And then that's where we see Jean being so freaking, just so mean. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes me disappointed. Because, like, I want him to be... The way him, her and Jimmy were, you know, mm-hmm. not so cold. He totally got so mad. He's like, oh, yeah, you should turn yourself in, too. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. It okay. just made me disappointed. I think what's interesting is last episode, I felt like it was a big theme of these decisions are killing Gene. Or, sorry, are killing Jimmy as he starts his path to become Saul. And those decisions are going to kill him in yes. the end. And this episode showed us Saul Goodman's death, mm, in a way. A new life. A new yeah. Life. Like, we get to see what he, what, what he actually is during Breaking Bad. Yeah. Because we saw a lawyer, behind the desk lawyer. We never saw, even like, you know, at his house, he was still Saul because he was still working on the phone while he was talking to the prostitute. But, like, <laughs> this is the first time where we... He, the thing is, I guess... We just see we saw that Saul Goodman behind the desk is his life outside the desk. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what was affirmed to us. Yes. And like with Kim, we've seen him in Kim's relationship, we've seen him be real with Kim. Yep. So seeing how he reacted now after being Saul and now having to pretend to be Gene. Well he, yeah, he doesn't change regardless of what, what situation he's in. Yeah. I bet if 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 Chuck was still alive during breaking bad times, he probably would talk like Saul. Because if he talks to Kim like that, he's going to talk to Chuck that way. Oh, yeah. So. I would want yeah, him to he, talk to Chuck yeah. that way. <laughs> he becomes Saul Goodman. I don't 
during Breaking Bad times, which yeah. is now reaffirmed to us, and we understand that. Yep. Which is so sad, because I foresaw him having a happy ending, actually, at the end of this. Well, you, you when I was going through the episode, like, recapping and everything, trying to remember everything, it, I was reminded of your guess of, or you're like, this isn't probably it, but it would be cool if... Um, during Breaking Bad, they make him stay on being their, like, lawyer, like, on retainer, um, threatening Kim's life if he didn't keep working for them whenever they needed him. And so, like, you can... Oh, yeah. That'd have been awesome. Right. I think that would have been a perfect way to end it. And so, because that would have given him, like, a little bit of, like, sympathy from us. Yeah. And like, oh, he's still, like, good inside. That's like the thing, here yeah. he doesn't prove us throughout, to us. Throughout Breaking Bad, Walt never, he never gets, like, the sympathy continues to drain. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't feel that way. No. Right, no. Saul, Saul is more gray. Yeah. Than black and white. I mean, yeah. then, then, uh, that's funny. Hmm. <laughs> Walter White, the, his friend's name is Black. They create gray matter technologies. Saul's the gray. Saul's the gray. <laughs> Even though Walter White is white, he's actually the black character. And, yeah, because I feel like Saul's pretty gray. But this is the first episode where I feel like he's black. Yeah. And I was going to ask, which which makes you more mad? Like, Walter, the way Walter is, like, towards the end? Or the way Saul is? Or Gene? Walt. Oh, okay. I just, like, watching this last episode made me so mad. So hey, I was Walt's, just wondering. Walt's a jerk. He's terrible. I know. No, he's easily Walt, but yeah. Go on. Okay. Um, tells Kim to turn herself in. Which then we makes could. Kim turn herself in. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. She She's is. probably already thinking about it. Maybe it's been weighing on her, but she flies to Albuquerque um, and gives a whole thing, typed to out Howard's thing. Wife. Yeah, to Howard's wife. Explaining everything. Yep. Everything. Even the whole... Um, not, just She just explains um, well, Howard's... That's what I mean. Yeah. She explains all of everything that happened with Howard in the last season. Yes. This season, yeah. Yes. That's but, all. see, I thought... I mean, no. If I was going to do the same thing, I would want to give everything to. But it was like... You would think maybe she would have just said, like, he just walked in. This bad guy was in our apartment. But she, like, like yeah. led up to the whole... She wanted a clear conscience. Yeah. No. Which... Um, we have a family chat w about this. My mom, she mentioned how, how much she loves the fact that Kim sat and w waited for her to read it all. She can just go, drop it off, and say, you know, like, call me when you fin when you read yeah. it or whatever. But, like, she wanted to... She's so brave. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, she... Yeah. If she puts her mind to something, she's going to do it. Yeah, definitely. And she's like, I'm going to clear my conscience of this, so I'm going to do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. And she did not care how awkward or, you know, whatever. But yeah, I just I really right. I really respect Kim. Oh yes. I'm expecting well, let's get into that real quick. The teaser for the next episode. Okay. Did you watch it? I have not. Okay. I saw a little bit. Well it was like Only a little it was bit. five seconds long. So it's just if you haven't watched it, it's Saul calling That's what I the, heard. The pro vacuum. Yeah. The vacuum cleaner. Because he wants to get out. And his voice sounds um, tired, like he was running, like he was running away from the cops or whatnot, and then I also showed the, the car in the background crashed. The okay. Oh, so crashed. then I did see. It. Is that it? Yeah. That's okay. It. So he well, does run from the cops. I wasn't sure if they're just gonna have him like get away from that situation. The cops come and then it's over, you know. Yeah. But he, but he actually is running. It looked, it seemed, you know, from the teaser, which we can't take that much from the teaser. No. I mean, we know those words are said. We know he calls. Yeah. So that's big. But they wouldn't give us But too I much. could see him calling and then cancel it. I swear. Like, I'm going to save Kim. Which is, I don't know if I said this. No, I said this to you. Which is my prediction for the next episode. Which is, I think, um, I think Saul saves Kim. How? I think, like, Kim's going to go to jail for what happened with Howard. But if Saul goes to jail, then she doesn't go to jail. Oh, like that would be a deal struck up or something? Yeah. Like, we want the bigger fish. We don't really want you. Hmm. So he gives up himself for a Would for he a actually do this? I just don't... I, I have a hard time seeing him dying. 
I don't see a method of de- Me death. Me too. Except I saw people like wanting more death. They're like I want to see death in this last episode. I'm cool. No, I'm good. I think there's been there's enough. There's no death in this show to warrant that. I know. I disagreed. There's been what? Chuck, Nacho, Howard. Howard. Lalo. Mm-hmm. Four. I'm happy with that. Yeah. But I'm saying, yeah, this show isn't about death, so. No. The last episode needs to be a representation of the show. With Breaking Bad, obviously, it's a ton of death, so they ended up with, you know. Yeah. Like, if you had the whole show on a glass window pane, and you had a light shine through it into one singular light, that needs to represent what the show is. You right. can't just go off of track. No. I don't know if I see that, though, with him saving Kim, because when Howard's wife was like... You don't see that happening with Kim? Why? Her her being... Saved? Arrested what? or anything. Well, because in the last episode she said... It's up to the court to choose. Yeah, it's up yeah. to the court, but they don't have any evidence. Oh, it's true. just my yes, word. That's, that's, that was the one thing that was like, okay, maybe not. But maybe that's them that. being creative to make us think, oh, so she might get away with it. She won't have any whatever. I don't know. And then she's there, and then, I don't know. That's just the only way I see them saving this character in a way. Yeah. He throws it all away for her. And then it's like, okay. Then good, I could like him boy. a little bit again. No. Also, the wife and her finally learning what happened to Howard made me so sad because imagine all those years. I don't know how long it's been in between, but I'm thinking that your husband was a drug addict and that's why he died. Like That's heartbreaking. And then like your whole world's just upside, upside down again and then you get to grieve his death all over again because now there's like new things you've learned. I don't know. I know. I uh, hate it. I know Macy said, our sister, my sister, she said she cried constantly in the show. Mm-hmm. Sorry, this episode. Wait, yeah. So did you ever cry? I teared up a little bit, but I was also, like, folding clothes during it. So. Okay, that's right. To stay away from the I think if I was... <laughs> yeah. So then we get the stupid... Not stupid. We get Jean taking the watches and stuff yep. from the house. Going back to the house to finish it and off. And then Jeff crashes the taxi car. <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. Basically, not much to, to glean off this. However, do we think Saul told him to crash the car? Or was it out of stress that he crashed it? Because for one, it was hilarious. So I, I, I'll funny. always say to you, when I, like, thinking of, like, a car just, like, going off the road and just straight into, like, a car mm-hmm. or a pole was just funny to me. <laughs> it's funny to actually, it was funny to actually see it come to light. Just like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you know what? I could see Saul or Jean telling him to do that. I'm just trying to think if there was any um was there anything said that made us feel that way? That Saul I don't think there's any um foreshadowing or anything mm-hmm. said that was like, okay, I told him to do that. I don't think so. I mean it doesn't matter, but Yeah. But just one one situation makes it funny, the other situation makes it smart and clever. Yes. That's the only difference. Yeah. I mean, I could see it going either way. I could see it because, you know, in his mind, he's like, I can't just walk out to his car. I stole some stuff. And then I could be identified by officers, you know. Either way, but so funny. Loved it. It gave some good comedic relief because he had to take it far. He had to take it farther than he had to. He had the... All the information where he would leave no trace of himself and Icarus gotta get his wings clipped, man. Yep. Here's your here's your moment, Soul. That's dang right. Then we move on. Oh, back to Saul Goodman times, breaking bad times, and him and Kim are signing divorce papers. Oh, yep. Color again. And as she's signing, he is on his phone, totally like pretending not to care. And then he, like, does weird, like, small talk with her. Like, so why are you going to Florida and stuff yeah, like yeah. that? She's like, I had, I don't know. But he cuts her off. And he's like, well, it doesn't matter. And then he tells her, have, have nice a life. nice life. With a complete face of. He doesn't even look at her, okay. I don't think, when well. he says that. Mm. And then he just, like, is looking at his next case. And that made me so mad, as I'm sure 
he did with everyone else. Because after all they've gone through, he has to know that she's not divorcing him because she doesn't love him or anything. Yeah. It's because she's trying to be a good person and stop their craziness and how toxic so they are So you think he's together. mad at her? I think there's resentment there, yeah. You think he's like, why don't you stay with me? You think that's what he's thinking? I think so. Maybe a little bit. But also, you know, it's probably like, well, if she's leaving me, I'm going to embrace this whole Saul Goodman and totally be a douche. Yeah. I don't know. But it made me mad. And poor Kim is just trying to do the right thing as best she can. She don't deserve it? No. She's the best. She's the best thing that's probably ever happened to him. Dig the hole and put him in the coffin right here. For me. Yeah? Yeah. I never... This is a moment where I never felt... He always felt like a slimy lawyer to me. But this was the moment where I did not like him. Yeah. I know a lot of people didn't like him as well. Like, you know, they're always like, oh, he's terrible. He's, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I never felt that way necessarily. Just because, you know, I knew he's a little pansy and he wouldn't hurt anyone himself. Yeah. I mean, he hurts people. And you just through, always... Through, you know, through right. his actions. Yeah. But, you know, this yeah. was the moment where I was like, okay. Right, because you just always see him as like, oh, that's his facade. Yeah. But then when he's with Kim, who he's gone through so much with and has been vulnerable with her. Have a nice life. What a jerk. <laughs> and then sweet Kim just walks out. She doesn't say anything. Yep. And then we get Jesse. Yes. I love it. Everything about him. The way he talks and his... He's just great. Body language is just perfect. I'll say right now, I'm probably going to do a top five t characters in TV. And I'm pretty certain that Jesse's number one. Really? Yeah. In TV or like the Breaking Bad universe TV. stuff? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I have to give Jesse number one. Just because he is such a great character. So funny. It's just great. Yep. You know. Has a great he has character a great arc. background. Yeah, arc, everything. Just, I mean, I'll get into it later, but. Oh, and this is what you mentioned earlier about Combo. That we learned that Kim represented Combo. Yep. Yeah. When he stole something or something like that. So, mm. that was just a nice little, and like we mentioned, tied back yeah. to what we used to watch at Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah. And Kim didn't take the sandpiper money. That's also true. Oh, right. When she, she did, was with Saul. She did all that work and she didn't get any of the money for it. She just didn't want her hands on the blood money. Maybe no. And that's pretty much that. Because even though she made bad decisions, she's still a good person. And that's what shows right there. The things that she decides afterwards, too. Yep. But I also I also feel like um, at the end of this episode, at the end of the scene with Jesse, she says, he used to be a good lawyer. I don't know him anymore, you know? Right. I feel like that line wasn't needed. Do you feel that way, too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like she could have just walked away and, you know, didn't need to be that obvious about it. Right. We all knew that she, he was dead. Two on the nose for us watching. Not that it's too... I mean, it wasn't bad. Yes, it, it was. What? I feel like it's a pretty, like, typical... Yeah. ...line you would hear in shows... ...in, like, movies like that. You it know? didn't... I mean, it didn't come off too on the nose. It wasn't like, ugh. But I... But after, I, think it, I was like, it didn't need it. Yeah. I think it could have if way. she delivered it poorly. Yeah, it could have been worse. Yeah. yeah. That's very true. But... Good, good point. Yeah. So then the end... <laughs> Wait. When... But when... Her and Jesse, when Jesse first approaches her and starts talking to her and stuff, it just, it, he's just so funny. He's like, man, this rain, yo, and all this kind of stuff. Like, the stupid things that he'll point out. So funny. To talk to someone in a conversation. It's just perfect. He's great. I forgot I did that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, rain, you see him yo. doing that so much all the time. Just, like, pointing things out that are so irrelevant, don't matter. He's great. Kind of like you. I never, <laughs> I never do that. I always say things that matter. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Just kidding. She ch she takes the bus home. Balls like a baby. Yeah. Oh, I wrote that wrong. She did. Oh. oh wait, I didn't mention that. No, that's I'm reading something different. But after she went to Howard's wife, tells her everything the on the bus. Thing. Yeah, she's crying and breaking down. That's another thing that made me sad. That broke my heart. Well, it's her, it's her gasping. 
Yeah. She's everything. so good at like uh however she did it. Mm-hmm. I just remember the gasping, I remember like the uncontrolled hand, like it just felt so uncontrollable crying. Yeah. It was really good. So good. I just can only imagine like the amount of guilt you would feel from that and mm-hmm. then finally like getting it off your chest. Yep. But then you still wouldn't feel right because it happened. You know? You would still Oh. Like Obviously, it's not yeah. like you fixed anything. Yeah. It just helps you a little bit. Yeah. But I love it's it. It's a selfish move at the end of, of it all. Not really. I mean I mean maybe a little bit, but also, you know, the wife deserved to know. Yeah, it's not selfish. I mean, you know, she did it for herself, Dep- really. But depends. Yeah. Okay. But like just the older I get and the more things I watch, the more I realize how hard acting is. Like, it's amazing. If you, to be a good actor, you just have, to, you have to be so believable, that when you're watching it, it takes you out of the world and into that scene. Yeah. And Kim does good in the scene for that. Mm-hmm. It's just amazing how like even a good actor, cannot be great. Because I still feel like they're on camera. Yeah, yeah. Which is partly, which could also be the writing, like I always say, but. It's just if but, you can if you can act so well that it takes the viewer out of the the state they're in and into you, like there's no camera, that is when a great a good yeah. actor is great. And I've loved her this whole whole season for that. Not that she's had that big of a scene yep. emotionally, but I feel like everything she's done no, she, has yeah. been great. She had you know the whole Lalo thing was emotional. Oh sure, right, yes. And then the one after that, but like the and whole then the one after. But then this the, whole show is yeah. what I mean, but yeah. yeah. You're right. And then Marion calls the cops. Yeah. No, she doesn't call the cops. Well, she calls Lifeline. Yeah. Her life, her, I fall and I can't get up. Which is oh, setting up, yeah, the thrilling finale as now just Saul's on the run. <clears throat> um, and I think for everyone, including myself, Saul's always been the, um, the pansy on the side <laughs> watching the bad stuff go down. His hand's never been in it. Which continues the theme again of killing Saul Goodman. But now this time it's actually him. It's not Gene Tavagovic. This yeah. time it's him. So they killed Saul for us as, okay, now we know he is bad in the inside, basically. That's, this is who he is. But now we see that he actually had the thought to kill Marion. Or at least Or at least he made it seem or, like, yeah. Whatever it was. Maybe he didn't have the intent to do it, but he was definitely trying to show her that, like... Uh, maybe. If you, you know... Yeah. That he could. But, like, in his eyes, you could tell, like, if, if it did feel like he wanted to hurt him. I was worried. Him. I did get a little nervous. And that was another moment right there, like I was saying. Just continues the theme of, oh my gosh, Saul's a baddie. <laughs> in good way or bad way? Bad way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. It just makes me sad. I'm always waiting, like, rooting for him to, like, do the better right thing. And then he's just threatening poor Marion, little old Marion. Yeah, she was a added, she was a good addition to the show. Yes. She's very sweet. Yeah, she's adorable. She's adorable, but good actress. And so now, knowing that, like, these characters, her and Jeff, the taxi driver and all that, like, when we were first introduced to them, now that we know that they play a big part in this end, like, season, fin- or show finale, whatever, mm. I'm I'm glad that they're in it. You know, because first watching Nippy, it was like, why do we care about these characters? We're just seeing Gene be like Saul and Jimmy before. Yep. But now that we see how intertwined they all are, yep. I'm happy with it and I love it. Well, it's for great. all you nippy lovers, I'm going to come back out and say it again. <laughs> Bad episode. I don't care. Um, <laughs> what we thought of, I hope these characters come back and actually play a big role, that has come to fruition. And I said that if that happened, that I would like Nippy more. But now that this moment has come, I still feel like Nippy was a waste of time. Do you feel like it could have still been an episode, just not the whole episode. Yes. Which is what I wanted to say. Which is, it's the whole mall part of Nippy that's bad to me. I like 
him talking to the grandma. I like him talking with Jeff. I like all of it. Just make the mall thing not 80, 70% of the episode. Keep everything else with Marion and Jeff. You disagree. I don't care. I don't know. Uh, keep everything else with Marion and Jeff the same. What does... Nothing was added from the mall, from the mall crap. It, nothing was added. <laughs> we already know Saul's good at doing it. Yeah. We know Saul is good at lying. We know he's good at thinking of ways to devise to make money. We know he's blah, blah, blah. Everything. Nothing was added. Nothing was gained. There's no bad thing that happened at the end of it that made it matter. Nothing. It was a 65% of the episode was the mall crap, which added and made no difference. If this was Breaking Bad, that would have helped because then he would have had more money to do something and would have added more drama and stress in some matter. But the money that was gained doesn't make any freaking difference. Yeah. Because now that I'm saying that, maybe it's what pays him to pay the, the bail. vacuum guy. Oh, never mind. The vacuum does. Um, if he ever then, gets I, there. I don't care. Show me characters we care about. Don't show me yeah. the mall crap. But, you know, they're probably like, we don't want to cut all this. You know, I can see why it was a full episode no. now. No. I could see it. Yeah. It's still it's, my yeah. least favorite out of the season, I think. Uh, or, like, my bottom. Yes. Because I haven't thought about there it. Was some, episodes. There were some episodes that were slow. After the first two episodes, I think it got pretty slow for four episodes. Those weren't very good. Yeah. And you can come crying to me about it. You can I make do... some comment about it. I don't freaking... I mean, I care. I like to hear what you think. Because it's interesting that you like it. But... You're too just... stubborn to change your opinion. That's what it is. <laughs> no. It's... I don't need to see all those little details that don't matter. Yeah. And I get it. Yeah. I don't know how I feel now. I still think it was, like, a lot. Yeah. That so I just want to re-clarify that it's the mall that bothers me. Yeah. Marion, Jeff. I I didn't mind that stuff, you know? You get to hear Saul talking with them, and I, I didn't mind it. It's always been the mall. I saw someone's opinion saying why they didn't like Nippy. And it was because they had, like, Saul or Gene was relying too much on things going right. Like, um... Relying on the three-minute eating? Yeah, the whole officers, and then going to the mall and picking out the right um, expensive stuff and making sure that he, that Jeff actually gets the right expensive stuff and that the way Jeff reacted to... Gene first, like, being in his house with Marion and stuff, that he wouldn't have freaked out or anything. That, you know what I mean? But I feel like I disagree, because that's kind of how that's Saul... A weird, that's a weird way to be annoyed by a show, an episode. I know. I don't think it was a really popular opinion. But I wanted to bring it up, because I just want to be like, I totally disagree, because that's how Saul runs. Right? Like, uh. pulling off all this Howard stuff, anything could have gone wrong. Which some things did, but then they somehow yeah. got away with it and like were able to work or go through with it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how much say off what that what they said, but I feel like that is yeah, that's interesting that that bugged them that most. Yeah, for me it was just the it's just too much useless for you. uselessness of the heist. Yeah, I hear that. And Which I we could have been seeing Kim, maybe show us a scene of Kim. That foreshadow is something. Oh. In between uh -huh. the Marion and Jeff. You can still have the heist, but maybe make it 20 minutes. Make it 20% of it. Yeah, yeah. I think I like agree we don't, with you. We don't need the montage of me eating the Cinnabons. <laughs> and we don't need them but practicing. I we don't need them practicing in the fields either. And we don't yeah. even need that long of a heist moment. I don't know. I didn't like it. The whole time I, I was like, show me something I freaking care about. I think I unless agree this with leads, you. Yeah, unless this leads to Saul being thrown in jail. Like, oh, you're going to jail. You know, Gene, you're doing this, you're going to jail. And then you think he's going to get caught as Saul, but he's just Gene in jail. You know, that could be interesting. But let it nothing. And I'm done talking about Nippy forever. <laughs> not that I hate it. It's just, Whatever, you'll, you'll bring it It's not good at all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep, and then... How does it end? Is it just him walking out of the house? Like running out of the house? Yep, running out of the house. It's literally him leaving and then that's it. Yep. Okay. Interesting. And sweet old Marion doing the right thing. Yep. So by the time this comes out, it's Friday, which means the next one will come out Saturday or Sunday. We have three days. Yeah. Until 
Oh, that's another thing. We have three more days until Breaking Bad is officially DED dead. The, done. Uh, it's a, I think it's basically official. Vince Gilligan is done with Breaking Bad. He's not going to go back to the universe anymore. Which is a double-edged sword for me. Well, yeah. One, it's sad because I love it and I want... You know, I thought like a Gus spinoff could be cool. Seeing his childhood. and Not childhood. Seeing his... You know, young adult age. Getting going into the business, this business. Getting into meth yeah. in Colum- not Colombia. Where was it? Chile? I can't remember where it was. Um, so yeah, seeing Gus grow up, I think that would be a cool spinoff. And that's the only one I've ever mm-hmm. thought about now. You know, recently it was like, that could be a good one. Because then you, you, don't, you don't have to have anyone from Breaking Bad anymore. Because now they're all old looking. You can have like a young Gus. It could look good. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's official. It's dead. Yeah. So... We get one more hour of pure beauty, and then it's over. And then he does say he plans on making another show in a different, a totally different thing, which is cool. I will I obviously be there. Yeah, I hope it's, like, good and, like, as successful. Because, you Living know, pray. it always sucks when yeah. you make something so great, and then the next thing comes out, and it's probably stressful hoping yeah. that I just, it's good. I just hope it's mainly him this time. I don't want the whole... Oh, yeah, gotcha. I want it. Yeah. Him I want it creating be, it yeah. and everything. I don't want Peter Gould or Thomas Schnauss, whoever, to be his co-person on the next one. I just feel like, every, you know, when he brings in this other guy, which one, whichever one that it is, I never remember, um, they just make it too slow. Mm. I want the pacing of Breaking Bad. So I hope he does it by himself and just psh, makes his art again. Dang. Well, that's yeah. cool. And we already talked about what we expect the next one to be, so not much else to say. Mm. Well, do you think we'll see Mike and Gus again? No, I feel like we no, won't. No, they're gone. Oh, Will that's another thing I want to say. What? Um, someone commented on one of our videos saying, I don't think Kim is going to show up in these last episodes. This isn't about her. Um, and then I said, Man. no, this is about Saul and Kim. This isn't just Saul. And I was right. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no way they only show Jimmy throughout the rest of this. We all care about Kim just as much. Right. And, so, you know, I didn't predict her coming clean, like that being a part of the show. Her no, no. telling Howard's wife at all. That's a, That was great. I didn't predict that. Well, I didn't even think about that, so. Yeah. It wasn't even a thought in my head that she, that, that, you know, that was part of it. Yeah. But I am glad that she's in this because, yeah. Well, yeah, it's like all you her said, and him. Yeah. It's not him. It's her, all, it's her and him together. Since day one, baby. Yeah. So, yeah. She's like I said, good. the sh- the show needs to be a needs to be in that last episode needs to be a reflection of what happened in the show. So you can't just not have Kim. I am so nervous. But yeah, we'll be back. I expect us to make the episode that night on Monday night, as we have nothing going on. I don't think. No. If we do, I'm so sorry. We'll come out later. But thank you for watching. Have a good one. If you liked what we had, please like and please comment your thoughts down below of what you thought about our takes. And have a good one. Bless you.